I remember on the third year of my engineering studies, I was so close to completely giving up, dropping out of university and pursuing my entrepreneurial initiatives full time. And I remember there was one thing that kept me going. There was one thing that inspired me to push through another two years of torture, of pain and suffering. And that one thing was that ring that I'm wearing right here on my finger. This right here is the engineering iron ring. It's the ring that every engineering student gets when they graduate. And this ritual was started about 100 years ago after there was a bridge that collapsed in Canada, killing a couple hundred people in the process. And after a long investigation over what is it that happened during for that catastrophe to take place, they realized that it was a flawed engineering design. It was the engineers behind the design of that bridge that led to the bridge collapsing. And since then, they created the iron ring, shaped like the iron that made up that bridge to remind engineers of the responsibility that we have towards safeguarding society. The ring is worn specifically on the pinky for it to hit all the material and equipment handled by the engineer. And it was that ring, the meaning, the symbol that was behind that, that kept me going towards for another two years of my degree. I never worked as an engineer, but what I do proudly wear today is still the ring that I got from my degree. Why? Because of the symbolism, because of the meaning that came behind it. And this one experience that I had, and I recall me not being the only one that had that feeling. A lot of us that graduated only went to the iron ring ceremony where we got the ring and not even went to the actual graduation. I didn't even go to my graduation. I just went to get my iron ring. And this taught me the power of embedding symbolism behind the different brands and behind the different products that we build as builders. And for us builders today, one easy low hanging fruit that we have, the capacity to tap in, a super weapon that no one else is using, is to find a way to embed so much meaning behind our products and our services or our NFTs that make our potential prospects willing to go the extra mile, willing to pay the premium, willing to do the things that other people wouldn't be able to do because they want access to what your product means. And the reason I make this video today on this channel where we talk about NFT, about Web3 marketing is because by nature, NFTs are scarce. By nature, not everyone should have access to your NFT. It is a scarce resource. And it is the perfect tool that allows us as marketers to embed meaning within it. Why should people use our NFT? Why should people wear our profile picture on their social media accounts? Why, 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 why? And the way we answer the question why is through symbolism is through embedding meaning behind our product. It's by embedding meaning behind our digital tokens. When you think about it, every notable established NFT collection or NFT brand holds some form of meaning. Board Ape Yacht Club, for example, was seen by most as the status profile picture. If you owned a Board Ape Yacht Club, you instantly had status. D-Gods, for example, if you own a D-God, it signals that you're into culture, you're into pop, you're cool. Pretty much. There's even collections like My Lady that the art is designed in a way to show that you're rebellious. You don't care of what other people think and it communicates a certain facet of your character, of who you are as a person. The reason why people will wear your profile picture collection is because of the meaning that comes behind it. Because it complements what is it something people want to signal about who they are and what is it that they stand for. So what I'm going to be sharing with you right now is a three-step framework that you can use to embed your NFTs with meaning. And if this is the first time we meet, I'm Leon Abud and I produce these videos today to democratize access to knowledge that you need to successfully launch your NFT project. For most of history, the secrets of successfully launching a product were safeguarded between the hands of a small group of people the market makers, we call them, who often ended up launching brands that would benefit their own pockets and not the rest of Web3. So based on my decade of marketing experience and my years having helped some of the largest brands in Web3 launch and scale their NFT projects, I bring that knowledge to you today 
all for free. There is no paywall gated information or secret that you need to pay for to access. It is all here for you today. So if you are a, an NFT founder looking to embed meaning within your NFT, here's a three step process that you can use. The first one being to define what are the core values that make up your project. And a good way to start is what are your core values that make you up as an NFT founder? At the end of the day, the brand is nothing but a reflection of the founder that created that brand. What are the things that you stand for? What are the things you believe in? Why are you doing what is it that you're doing? The next step is to ask yourself, are there people out there that also share the same core values and core beliefs as you. For example, I believe that every founder should have all the tools, resources, and knowledge that they need to successfully launch a product ethically and profitably. Because at the end of the day, a market is only as good as the products that make up that market. And it is you, the builders, that will end up creating the products of tomorrow. So that is how I aim to make my mark into Web3. And that is why I make these videos. So for you, what is your messaging? What is your vision? The next step in that process is to design your product with symbolism in mind. You built your origin story, why you do what you do. The next step is to embed that story flawlessly within the actual product. Imagine, for example, one of the traits that you had in your NFT collection was a hat, a black hat. And according to your origin story, you were once sitting at a coffee shop, coming, trying to come up with your idea. And you had this old man that came up, sat in front of you, opened up his heart about his story and how he went and overcame all the obstacles that life put in front of him. And that story that inspired you that day to get up and take action and actually put in movement your product. And then because of that, you have a black hat within your collection. All of a sudden, you get to embed your collection with a story. You get to give meaning beyond what is it that people see. So that was the second step, design with meaning. The third step in that process is to communicate with meaning. Every part of your marketing, your website, your copywriting, your marketing material, everything should go back to communicating and educating your prospect about your vision, about your mission, and about the symbolisms that make up what your brand is and why it was designed that way. So these are the three steps, ladies and gentlemen. Number one, define your core values. Number two, design with intention. Number three, communicate and educate. I hope this was helpful for you. Get out there, embed meaning behind what is it that you are selling. And trust me, people are gonna be willing to walk the extra mile to become part of your journey and to join you on your mission. My name is Leon Aboud and it was an absolute pleasure sharing this moment with you. I shall see you very soon. Cheers.